How are you today? Oh, I'm in one of those check yourself before you wreck yourself situations. <laughs> I am so sore. Oh, my whole body hurts. I spent uh, a couple days with my sister. Well, one day, really. Um, and I had to take her and her husband down to Victoria. I live in Nanaimo, BC, for those of you that don't know, uh, Canada. <clears throat> and I had to take them down there for my brother-in-law had an appointment. So my sister and I spent the day shopping. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> for something specific. Um, we had, I had to go and get a whole bunch of meat. And so <clears throat> I brought back big slabs of meat and everything. And, you know, we were in the car. I was in the car for a few hours, you know, so sitting kind of affected me and then having to lug around these big things of meat didn't help me at all. And then I had to come home, cut it all up. And uh, yeah, anyway, so I didn't check myself because <clears throat> I was going, yeah, I'm doing great. And then I got home and I slept for quite a while. And I woke up this morning going, oh, <laughs> so yeah, my everything hurts. <laughs> Anyways, so <clears throat> forgive me if I seem a little off. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so you are here today for week two? Week two. The end of week two, beginning of week three of the Movie Marquee <laughs> Challenge that I am doing with Heather the Crochet Witch. Hi, Heather! Um... <laughs> So for those of you that are new, I've got a playlist down below with every month that we've done so far. So you can go and check those out. Um, basically, we're taking a movie a month. She picks one one month. I pick one the next month and so on and so on. And we take the movie poster of that movie and we take the colors out of it and we make something pretty. So, yeah. <laughs> so Heather's doing blankets every month. I'm doing various things. Well, this month I decided to get into the spirit of the blankets and make one of my own. <sighs> I'm kind of regretting that decision because <laughs> I'm not a blanket person. I know I'm not a blanket person. And I'm, yeah... So I have no idea if I'm going to get this done in time because I overstepped a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> so I got a I got a bag at Michael's when I picked up my yarn for this. I forgot to show it to you guys last time. <sighs> this is my Halloween bag. It's got candy corns, which is kind of cool because all the colors in here are the colors in the blanket. Which I thought was kind of cool. Ow, lifting my arm like that really hurts. <laughs> so anyways, okay. The yarn, hang on, I gotta put my head down for a minute. The yarn that I used for this ah, was Karen Big Cake. Look at those colors. Oh. And let me grab my glasses. I just got out of the shower, guys, so <laughs> forgive me. I look like a train wreck, but um, the color is Rainbow Jellies. Isn't that, that's totally a perfect name for that, isn't it? Okay, so I've got that. And the funny thing is, is I bought, how many did I buy? Four of them? Five, four, five, I can't remember now. And I was sitting there thinking, oh, I think I'm probably going to have way too much and mm -mm. no <laughs> so I'm using that and I'm using and it's a little crunched but Burnett premium that you get from Walmart and this is just black I thought the contrast would be really cool and it is but let me tell you guys Boy, did I misjudge this. <clears throat> Oops. And I'm pulling out stitches. It's turning out gorgeous. 
but mm -hmm. oh, oh. here's the colors isn't that pretty yeah that's turning out really pretty I am doing I think this is the the prettiest blanket or prettiest thing I've probably made in a long time um, it's the lat of the Jacob's ladder the colors are these are not my colors at all but I'm thinking wow these are really cool so the problem is here's one end here's the other end I made it way too long <laughs> It was supposed to be my arm span, which is about here to here. There's that much extra. That's like two feet too much. So <laughs> all that yarn that I thought was probably going to be too much yarn is probably going to be not enough yarn mm. I tell you I I suck at gauging length of blankets and stuff so I basically I pulled a, a Heather uh, Heather always says that she makes blankets way too big and everything I get it girl I get it because I totally screwed that up <laughs> To do one row of this, it takes me forever. Oh, so yeah, it's like, it's, it's crazy long. Like, let me put this in half. This would have been just perfect, but no, it's double this. <laughs> what was i thinking the problem is when you're doing a chain and you go like this there's not a lot of give right it's kind of like okay that should be enough right um so when you're doing it it kind of starts to stretch what well, yeah so it stretched a little too much for me. Um, that's why I, I mean, I like doing the foundationless double crochets or, you know, single crochet or half double crochet or whatever for my chain, because then I know exactly how much it's going to be, but I didn't do it that this time. And yeah. So I'm going to be working on that probably till the day I die. <laughs> Just... Wow. But it is really pretty. I mean, every row that I'm doing, it just amazes me. I'm just going, wow, this is really nice. The, the thing is, though, is when you're using this, oh, the beginning, oops, it's like you're looking at how much is here, how much is here, and so on and so forth. Um, I don't think that the transition, the co the color trend, the color transition is very harsh, but I don't think that they're the same lengths of color. I don't know because the first few. Um, rows from here to here were great right they each row was one color it was great and then you get the transition and then it goes like that all the way down and then you come back and, and it's like then there's a harsh transition here right same with this harsh transition here but if you're looking at it like this you can't tell right like you can't tell the difference but 
you know, like it, it's worked out quite well for the color transitions because of the Jacob's Ladder. So, I mean, that, see, like you can see the blue here is transitioning. But you know what? In the grand scheme of things, when you're looking at this, you can't really tell the transition. So that makes me very happy. <clears throat> uh, because if it's one thing that ticks me off is when you're doing a project and then you get that, that harsh transition um, from one color to the next. Ooh, I got a little bit of OCD when it comes to that kind of stuff. And uh, <clears throat> I, I end up pulling out the whole, like however much I did in that transition and going back. Oh, I forgot I had makeup on. Um, and going back and doing it again in the new color. So <clears throat> I was really worried about this when it started to transition and I went, uh oh, but then I looked at it from afar and I went, that actually doesn't show as bad as I thought it was going to. So I was pretty happy. So I'm going to keep going with it. Um, yeah, but I think that this is going to take me quite a while to do because for the, the width that I'm going to have to have it, I mean, I could turn it and make that the length, but then it's, I mean, the Jacob's Ladder is going to be going this way and it's just not going to look right. So yeah, boy, I screwed that one up. Um, but okay, I'm just going to keep plugging. It may take me till Christmas to finish it, but it is what it is, right? Every month we can't have something perfect happen, right? Heather seems to pull it out of her butt where she can, she can go, oh, so I think I did it too big. And then she finishes it and she just, she's just a blanket whiz, you know? And for me, mm -mm. like I, I'm finding with this, the heavier the blanket's getting, the more it's putting pressure on my wrist and I'm starting to get pains in my wrist um, and this is my crochet hand this is my holding hand so and it's also the hand that I've got my yarn in so yeah I'm starting to get sore so I I figure well that's okay I'm just gonna keep I'm I'm doing projects in between right like I'll do like I don't know five to ten rows in one sitting which is a lot and then I'll switch to something else. I'll start making leg warmers or something uh, just to give myself a break. Right. And that seems to be working. <sighs> but it's going to be a long haul one, I think. Who knows? Maybe I'll become a crochet whiz at the end of the day and I'll be able to get, or at the end of the month and I'll be able to get it all done. But I doubt it. <laughs> I, I really doubt it. <laughs> But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Because I got that much done in the week. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. Wish me luck. <laughs> Wish me luck. <clears throat> okay, guys, that's all I have for you. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, go over to Heather's channel. Check out what she's making. Oh, my gosh. Her blanket. We had the same idea with the black and the color. It was really cool. Um, hers is, oh, once again, knocking it out of the park. Um, hers is going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous. So <clears throat> we would love it if you would join in on this. Uh, you don't have to do... Oops don't have to do the same uh, movie as us. You can do something else uh, and go to our Facebook groups, which is linked down below and ch show us what you're doing. Like beginning, middle, end, you know, like put pictures up, tell us what movie you're going, you're doing and the yarn that you're using. Cause we would love to see it. We, we just thrive on seeing what everybody else is up to. <clears throat> okay, so don't be afraid to do that. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I love you all, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.